So when we're talking about weapons uh, and weaponry coming from Israel or upgraded from Israel, I think of the Uzi, of course, maybe the M16. But the Kalachnikov, that's our well, enemies, no? Well, yeah, uh, the, the uh, IMI, which was the original, and IWI, of course, they have the. Uh, they, they were the first to make uh, uh, weapons and uh, firearms as of 1949, 48, as of the uh, Independence War era. So yes, they, they are the first one to, to be recognized. Uh, there are some companies, or one company in Israel that does also uh, the M uh, M4, M16 variants. And yes, uh, we are the first one to do uh, the Kalashnikov in Israel. The Kalashnikov, am I right, is mainly associated with actually in terms of Israel's wars with the enemy? Uh, regretfully, yes, but uh, we have respect for the enemy's uh, firearms. As you well know, there's, a, for example, a very well-known uh, photograph of uh, Yossi ben Hanan uh, in the uh, canal, in the Swiss canal in 1973, if I'm not mistaken, holding, you know what? An AK-47. Where he got from who? We got from the Egyptians. He got from the Egyptians, yeah. So he knew, he knew uh, as same as uh, the Americans knew in the uh, Vietnam War, uh, when their uh, M16, old uh, broomstick M16 uh, rifles, they didn't function. They threw, the, threw away their M16 and took the uh, Viet Cong's uh, AK-47 because they knew that the enemies, what can we do? The enemy's rifle, the enemy weapons are working. Now, you're not here just to show an historic piece. Tell us about what you're doing to the AK-47. Okay, uh, what we have here is, uh, is what we call the AK-Alpha. Uh, the AK-Alpha is our version, it's our uh, modern version, or modern uh, version to the uh, AK uh, line of rifles. Uh, as I told before, uh, the AK is good in one thing, which is the, uh, uh, it's, it's very reliable, it's uh, for the reliability. But that's wh where it stops. Okay, because in terms of human engineering, they're not so good. Okay, and that's what where we go in. Okay, uh, let let us go over from back to forth. Uh, we have here a stock which is also folding and retractable. Okay, so it can fit many type many uh, human uh, uh, bodies. Okay, we also have a, an adjustable cheek piece, so you can adjust your uh, eyesight to the to the. Uh, to your site. Uh, let's go forward. We have here a, a very ergonomic uh, pistol grip, which has uh, front and uh, back uh, adjustable back strap. When we supply that, uh, we supply it with uh, three pieces of front sizes, of course, and three pieces of uh, back, just so it can adjust uh, to the human uh, hand. Uh, we have here an ambidextrous M16 style uh, safety where you can uh, uh, operate it uh, very fast with your uh, shooting hand and not like the classic, M6, uh, classic AK-47 when you had to take off the shooting hand and uh, put down the uh, safety or with your uh, second hand. So now in Israel, who uses uh, this uh, kind of weapon? Of course, not the upgraded yet, but who uses the Kalashnikov? Well, Kalashnikov is used, the classic Kalashnikov, obviously not this one because it's new. Uh, of course, special units like the, uh, the uh, Navy SEALs, the Israeli Navy SEALs. And what would you be, who would be your target audience at this point? Uh, you're trying to sell it, not to the IDF yet. Eventually, yes. Eventually, yes. Uh, we're looking at uh, armed forces around the world, uh, police, uh, special forces, of course, with the uh, approval of the Israeli MOD. Now, this is an Israeli product, an Israeli upgrade, basically? Naturally. Obviously, from A to Z, it's an uh, Israeli product. Uh, at first, we will do, uh, we'll go and take all, only the uh, barrel and the uh, internals, uh, internal mechanism of the Russian rifle uh, and, and upgrade it up to this uh, modern rifle, modern day rifle. But uh, later on down the road, uh, we are planning to do it all the way from A to Z.